Hi, I'm Chantal and I'm here with Saul Bowden, one of the founders of Donations on Toda. So Saul, could you explain to everyone what exactly Donations on Toda is? Mm -hmm. um, so basically Donations on Toda is supposed to help us solve one of the last problems that we here at Expo Squared think is happening with fundraising. These there's two primary um, problems that we see. The first is transparency, and the second is the cost of getting money where it needs to go. Let's deal with the first one first. Um, we have a huge issue in the fundraising industry with transparency. Um, in general, a lot of every single donation is up to fifty percent in some cases. There's even some reports that could be as high as eighty percent, particularly in efficient organisations is lost to things like administrative costs, to um, hiring call centers to chase donors, and to um, basically a variety of miscellaneous costs. The problem is that we can't trace exactly how much money goes to the cause you, do, you know, donate to, because none of these large NGOs who are the biggest culprits will actually open their books. Um, this has led to a pretty big trust issue in the industry um, that's been made worse over the last two years by scandals like the ones in Haiti. Donations on TODA will allow us to demonstrate to contributors that when they give money to charity, uh, it's actually going where it's supposed to go. We'll be able to track every single dollar that's given and tell a contributor that that money's gone to buy books, that money's gone to buy the bricks and mortar to build a school, that money's hired teachers, that money's fed kids. Uh, providing that level of feedback, which no other solution currently does, we hope we'll be able to rebuild the trust that's been lost over the last few years. The second big problem is getting money where it needs to go. Um, a good example of this is Africa. The average cost of sending a remittance to Africa is around 8%. This means that the second you donate, you're already losing 8% of your contribution to the banks, essentially. Um, we're hoping that by adopting a cryptocurrency solution, we can significantly reduce or preferably completely eliminate all of these costs. The uh, second benefit of this is that we can reduce leakage from the economy. When you give money to a developing economy, either through purchasing something or through a contribution, a lot of it is leaked out over the course of the next 10 years through combinations of banks fees, service fees, and purchases from Western corporations. By having a sort of closed loop system, we can keep as much money within these developing economies as possible, which increases the um, ripple effect of your contribution. So your money that you then give to the NGO can be used to hire a contractor who will build that school or to hire someone to transport the water or dig the well. And then that money will stay in their economy and have a much larger impact over a longer period of time, which really helps to maximize the net social impact of your contribution, which is pretty much all that we're about here.